Informal feedback is a powerful driver of performance. Consider this story. Carlos and Enrique, they were talking about the recent company family picnic at the lunch table. Now, Carlos was the main organizer, and he was excited that the predictive rain weather forecast turned into a sunny and warm uh, day for the event. Enrique then said in passing, I appreciate how intentional the organization is about including my family with events like this. It shows that the company lives out its family values. I wonder if we could do more with this idea, like a family service day. Now here, Carlos has received valuable feedback about the specific quality of the event, encouragement and appreciation for more events, and even ideas to improve future performance. Now, all of this valuable feedback happened within the course of a simple lunch break. Be intentional about creating a space for informal feedback. Open spaces for conversations, such as the lunch break room, open hallways, outdoor seating, and meeting spaces, they all foster continuous conversation and feedback. Steve Jobs famously put the bathrooms in the Apple headquarters few and far between so that people had to get up and walk around in hopes of increasing organic interactions as people were on their way to the toilet. Be intentional and identify what open spaces you have for informal feedback within your team. Workplaces that are remote or in different geographical places can also create online open spaces like random channels within Slack or WeChat or Teams. Also, create time for informal feedback. Allow space in your schedule and in your team schedule for effective informal conversations. Encourage team members to take the time to talk. I spoke with one director who held the motto, if you are talking, you're not working. But this simply isn't true. When we're talking, we are building relationships. We're sharing ideas. We're working on a platform to give great informal feedback, just like Carlos did about the family picnic. One specific way to create a time platform for feedback is to encourage and support the time breaks that revolve around meals. So lunch breaks are a time to connect over your excellent homemade sandwich. It's a time to put your guard down and to talk. So use this time to your advantage. Also, create an expectation for informal feedback. Let your teams know that you expect them to communicate with one another. Build relationships and give informal feedback. Let your team know that it's encouraged that they chat. Informal feedback does, uh, does not happen uh, just organically. We, we can foster or we can suffocate conversations within our culture. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to look at your company culture in terms of literal physical space or digital space, your time allocation, your, and your expressed expectations, and identify if your company is fostering or suffocating informal feedback. Uh, identify at least one way that you can better foster informal conversations within your team. Thank you for joining this episode. Uh, for more information about our performance feedback learning and other talent development learning, Follow me, Amber Vandenberg, and my company, The Pathways Group.